Hey guys, today I want to show you uh, quickly how to set up Rewire to Ableton um, but it's pretty much the same to Logic and I think it's also the same to Cubase um, What you have to do, I Rewire to start at the beginning is um, a technique and I think it was developed by um, Reason and um, what it allows you to do is uh, sync two audio programs together so you can use uh, two DAWs like uh, Logic and Ableton or uh, Ableton and Cubase um, anything like that and the advantage of that is that you can use the cool features of one program alongside with the cool features of another program so you get everything um, you like the disadvantage uh, would of course be CPU and that maybe it uh, maybe it's a little bit distracting in, in, in your workflow maybe it is it, it is something to get used to um, but anyway, let's dive into it. I want to use um, two programs. I want to use Renoise, which is a tracker, and I want to use Ableton. And Ableton, um, I want Ableton to be my master. And we have a master and a slave. And the master program is going to be like what it sounds like. It's going to be the one that um, has the most control. And the other one is going to be locked to the master. So because I want Ableton to be the master, I have to start that one up first. So um, the startup order is important here. And Ableton um, is the boss, so he gets to be the first. And then when I open the second program, it will automatically um, say that it has detected um, a rewire master, and then it asks, should I um, run as a rewire slave? And then you say, yes, please do. Um, so now I'm in uh, Renoise, this is my slave program, and I'm in Ableton. So if I open a project in Renoise, and then when I play this project, I won't hear anything. I do see uh, audio here in the top, I see it scrolling, I see that I have uh, content here, but I'm not hearing anything. So I need to go over to Ableton, and then I um, can delete the MIDI buses, and I'll go to an audio bus. And first on the right side I select input output to enable those and then I say audio in from Renoise and I set the input monitor on and now let's try again there we are sound and this also sounds like my song it's a little bit too fast though and if I want to change the tempo um, which is right here. I need to go to Ableton and change the tempo there. And the slave version will lock to that. So that is the difference of a slave and a master. Um, so I use this actually quite a lot. It's my uh, default setup and um, normally I rewire it uh, to Logic. And in Logic it's the same thing, you have to go over to the mix buses and then uh, select audio from um, Renoise. And in Logic, if you want to use that as a master program, you also have to go into preferences and it's in the main window and then select um, that you want to use it for rewire master applications or something like that. So I hope you learned a little bit from this. Um, and that you maybe start to think about the advantages of uh, using two programs. For example, if you have one program um, that has certain plugins, stock plugins that the other one doesn't have, like Operator for Ableton, it's Ableton specific. Now you can use those synths inside other programs and just send the audio. Um, I think it's very cool. Thanks and uh, see you next week.